Hello and welcome back to CST2120. So in this lecture I'm going to cover file upload with Node and Express. So obviously lots of websites, you know, allow the user to upload files, right? File sharing websites, we've got our photo sharing, you know, submitting applications for jobs with your CV and all that kind of stuff. So it's an important component of website functionality and uh, in previous years, people have done coursework three, have often, you know, needed file upload functionality, which is why I'm recording this video, yeah? So in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to use the Express File Upload module um, to process the upload, uh, uploaded files server-side. Um, there are other alternatives, as I mentioned, like Malta and Formidable, but I'm going to just use the Express File one because it's sort of, you know, Express sort of ecosystem, if you like, and it all makes it easier. Um, so I'm first going to start off with a standard form, um, just to show you, because I think it's easier to understand how it works, um, the sort of general principles behind it, using a standard form. Um, but then I'm move on, going to move on and show you how you can actually upload files using Ajax, and that's a sort of way of packaging up a sort of form. You sort of create a form data object and put the required bits in it and then send it off to the server. So the server code is the same for both, and obviously for Coursework 3 you should be using the Ajax version of this example code if you choose to use it, yeah? Okay, so let's start with a standard form, you know, so you've got a bit of, you know, so you understand the basics of it, as I said, and then we'll move on to the Ajax stuff, yeah? Um, so Really, it's pretty simple, yeah? You just create a standard form, um, set the action to the appropriate uh, path uh, that you're listening on for form for file upload, and then you create an input field of type file. So previously we've had input fields of type email or text and all that kind of stuff. But there's an input type of file. Um, and the important thing, you need to set the for encoding type to multi-part form data, otherwise it's um, it, it just doesn't work, yeah? So here's my little example. And here, um, oh yeah, sorry. Um, so that's the little example, uh, which I'll demonstrate a little bit later. And then here we got the code, very simple and straightforward really. So obviously the action of the form is this slash upload, which is the path I've, I've set up with Express um, to hand to listen for these form upload stuff. It's post because we're sending stuff in the body of the data and we're kind of creating a new resource sort of. Um, and then the encoding type, you must remember that, otherwise it won't, it just doesn't work. Um, now here's the sort of the bit you just need to get right when you're using forms is that the input type is file obviously because it's a file that gives you the uh, this sort of little ability to kind of click on a button and select a particular file that's what the input file type uh, input type of file um, does for you as an input field and then the crucial thing to get right with this is the name yeah because the name my file is what's going to be used by the server to pull out the file information um, from the request object yeah. So what you write here must match what the server's looking for, yeah? Just like any kind of post stuff with PHP, yeah? Okay, so, so that's the form, dead simple, right? Um, so the next step then is to actually write the server-side code um, to process um, what's been sent to it by the form. So obviously we don't need to do anything else client-side to send some stuff, that, that's it. Very simple bit of HTML. Server-side, we've got to do a little bit, little bit more work. As I said, I'm going to use the Express File Upload module for this demo, but there are other ones out there if you prefer. So you just, you know, install it with npm and then um, tell the application, tell the Express application to use it. And here we've got the little bit of code that does the job, yeah? So we're setting up here a post, uh, we're setting up uh, Express to listen on the slash upload path. And then we're setting up mapping a function, this function we've got here onto the upload path. So any requests that are on the upload path um, will be, we'll call this function here, yeah? Now obviously when we, you know, receive this upload thing, maybe the form's bust, you know, maybe some, something's misconfigured somewhere or other, maybe the file hasn't been selected. So that's where we need to check uh, to make sure that, um, that, you know, everything's correct, that we've actually got a files object and the rest of it. Next, uh, when we know we've got a files object, we need to then extract um, the file um, that's uh, inside the request that has the name um, that we put inside the form, yeah? So here my file is pointing to this file. And we need to get this right here, as I said. So my file here has to match uh, the name of the input field of the form that's been sent to the server, yeah? If it doesn't match, things are just gonna break. Now what we do, if, if this is a real website, obviously we do some more complicated checks, yeah? You know, lots of people upload lots of nasty stuff to websites, yeah? So you need to make sure it's not an exec executable file, that if it's an image that's safe, you know, it's, it's not some, like an XE hiding an image, if it's a, you know, it doesn't have like nasty bits and bobs in it, yeah? And we need to make sure it's what we're expecting, yeah? So once we don't, so I'm not doing that here because it's only a very simple example. And then when we've, uh, then once we've checked that it's the right kind of file, 
then we move that file into a particular location on the server. Yeah, so if we, for example, if we're uploading an image for a content management system or something, uh, we put that in a particular images folder, and then we'd store the path to that file uh, in the database. Yeah, but obviously we're not using database here. I'm just showing you how to do the file upload bit. Yeah, so we move it to an appropriate location. In my case, I've got an uploads folder on the server, and then we send back a response. If the move broke for some reason, we'd send back some kind of error message, and if it all worked fine, then we'd send back a response to say that it was all worked fine. Yeah, and obviously here. I'm doing all the responses in JSON format because in coursework 3 I'm expecting all the communications to be in JSON format. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> and JSON's a nice way to wrap up errors and the rest of it, right? Okay, so that's it. So that's really simple form upload. So let's just do a little demo here. So here I've got my, you know, all that node code I just showed you. Very simple. It's like, you know, 40 lines of code or something. So it's, it's already running up. So here we've got our form file upload. So we click on our input field here, choose the file. We've got a cat picture here we can upload. Then I click on upload. The form submitted to the server. And then with this form submission business, right, you submit it and then you get back um, other stuff sent from the server. In this case, because I'm looking at sort of, you know, more single page web apps, um, this, this server is just replying with a JSON message uh, telling us that the, you know, the file that you what, what the file name is and that it's uploaded successfully. Yeah. So obviously, if this was not a single page web application, we were pulling, you know, big chunks of HTML from the server, then we could send back an, a new page, a new HTML page displaying all that kind of stuff. But because this is aiming towards Coursework 3, where well, we're not going to do that, um, this is just up, re 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 replying with some JSON, yeah? And if we go to the server um, and look at the file system here in the uploads folder I told you about, inside there we've got the, you know, the cat JPEG, you know, that I've just uploaded. So I just delete it. Um, to show you, you know, the, the next stage that it's working, yeah? Okay. Okay, so that's the standard form upload stuff. You probably did that for your e-commerce website a little bit. Um, and now I'm going to show you how we can use exactly the same server code, but then we can write more sort of use JavaScript on the client side to package everything up, send it off to the server, get back the response without, you know, refreshing the page or requiring HTML to be sent from the server. So the server code is the same. All we're doing with the JavaScript is we're pulling out the file information in exactly the same way in Coursework 1, right? In Coursework 1, you know, people registered and logged in all locally, right? Um, and you pulled all that stuff out of input fields and then put it into local storage. All that logic is exactly the same as here, um, except here we're pulling out the stuff from the input fields and packaging it up um, and sending it off to the server using Ajax, yeah? But the, the initial stages of this are, are identical, yeah? Now, in order to get, uh, it's obviously slightly tricky patch packaging up files um, using JavaScript and sending them off to the server. So we have to use this kind of form data object to sort of wrap um, our submission so that we can then put the files inside that and then send them off, yeah? And here I'm going to just use the XML HTTP request um, because it's sort of the default, the, the default simplest one. But obviously if you want to, you could probably use fetch for this. I'm very confident you use fetch for this. Or... Um, jQuery libraries for Ajax, or you could use, um, uh, uh, what's the other one? Oh yeah, Axios or some kind of third party library. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter what method of uh, creating the HTTP request in JavaScript you use. Yeah, they should all work in the same way. So here's my little Ajax file upload example. So it's pretty much the same here. Here have got the input field. Um, here, this is a button instead of a form submit button. And what you can't see here, but I've, I've put in to the actual code, is uh, like a div to hold messages from the server, like whether there's an error in terms of the user hasn't selected the files, all that kind of stuff, yeah? Well, anyway, so here's the HTML, still very simple, even simpler, in fact, because we don't need to have a, so we don't have a form field here. If you put a form field here, then you've got to prevent the form being submitted, and it's all kind of complicated, yeah? So forget about the form. Here, we're just going to have, use the input field. Now, we don't need a name here, because we're going to provide that later, but we do need an ID, so we can pull out the information from it using JavaScript, yeah? Then there's a button that calls the upload server file, um, and then there's a, a little sort of div at the bottom to provide feedback to the user, just like we did with the login stuff in Coursework 1, for example. Then we got, uh, when you click the button, it calls the upload file uh, function. And here's the upload file function. So it's not, this is not complicated stuff, yeah? You just need to get a few things right, yeah? So, so obviously, um, we want we can now use document get element by ID, and this is file input is our input field here, right? Um, that one at the top. Um, so we're pulling out, getting a, a reference to that HTML element, and then instead of value, we have dot files because input fields of type file um, 
the you have a sort of a property called files, which is the uh, an array of the files that have been selected by the user. It could be empty, um, or it could have one or more files associated with it. Yeah. So and this yeah. So we're pulling out that yeah, um, and then once we've got that files array. Um, we then need to see if it's you know got got a file in it. Yeah now here We're only expecting a single file to be selected by the user But if they haven't selected the file and then they've clicked, you know submit then we need to provide some feedback and saying please submit the file Please select the file kind of thing. Yeah So now we should have uh, a file array. Yeah, and now we can create this form data object I mentioned to wrap up the files. Yeah, so we have a so creating a sort of form in JavaScript effectively um, and then we're adding to that form um, a field, a, a key, my file, and the value of that associated with that key will be this this file, this file array zero, the the, the file in the array. Yeah? Now note that here inside this form we're creating in JavaScript, um, that my file, that name, has to match um, what the server's looking for. Yeah, if this is different, if I call it my file two or something, um, then the server won't be able to find it, and the whole thing's going to crash. Yeah. Okay, so we create the form data, um, we stick in my file with this file array in it, um, and now we need to create the standard stuff with Ajax, which I've gone over many times. Um, we create the XML HTTP request, we set up some you know, handling so that it says file uploaded successfully or puts the error inside the uh, user, user feedback area. And then we use uh, a post request, so we're basically calling open post uh, to the path, right? It's the upload path, slash upload is the path on the server we need to send it to. And then we're sending off this form data object that we created earlier, yeah? So we're really pretty simple. We're creating this form data, and that form data can just be sent in the, um, in the, as an argument for the send method, yeah? And that's, that's it, it's pretty easy, yeah? Um, so let's have a little look at this. So first, let's, you know, this is probably going to break, but let's try it anyway, yeah? So I haven't selected a file, so click upload, and it's picking up that I haven't selected any files, that files, the array files as zero length, yeah? So let's choose a file here. Uh, again, we'll stick with a cat picture, yeah? Now we can select upload, and it claims uh, that it's been uploaded successfully. And let's just have a little look on my uh, thing, right? And here we've got uploads, and there's there's the cat JPEG picture there, yeah? So it's worked just fine. And obviously, if there's some kind of error message or whatever coming back from the server, then that would I'd be putting that in, into this into this field here. So pretty straightforward, um, but hopefully you know useful stuff for for your projects, yeah. So of course we've got you know resources. This example code I've talked you through, I'll put up on the course website. Um, and you've got the lecture and a few sort of useful links, I think. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so in this lecture I've shown you how to process uploading files uh, using the Express File Upload module. Yeah. So that was the sort of server side code. Pretty straightforward, right? It just appears in the request um, as the request files inside a sort of object in the side the request object when you send files to the server. I explained it first using a standard form because that sort of a lot of the concepts are based around this idea of a form as you saw even with the JavaScript we still have to use the form data right um, but although you can use a standard form um, obviously of course like three you're supposed to you know there's no HTML exchange between client and server and it's a bit weird displaying JSON error messages to the client right so obviously you should use the AJAC methods for course work three okay and that's it